Saint Emilion, a small town located in eastern Bordeaux, boasts of hundreds of chateaus, fascinating wine lovers all around the world. The town has a long history and a picturesque landscape. You could find almost all kinds of chateaus here. As for the most natural and organic wine, produced in the most traditional way, we recommend you Maison Blanche in Montana. Montana is located in northern Saint Emilion and is featured by a soil condition of clay. Its terroir and climate are quite beneficial for the growth of Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and Cabernet Sauvignon. Nicolas d'Espagne is the current owner of Chateau Maison Blanche. Bienvenue à Maison Blanche. Welcome in the White House and by Kong. Nicolas d'Espagne is the third generation of Chateau Maison Blanche. His family has been living in Saint Emilion for 500 years. In 1835, the then owners, Marie and Octave, ordered the construction white stones of a mansion, which they quite simply named Maison Blanche. The Daspania family have owned the vineyard for 200 years, and the main building came into the family estate in 1938. Bon, voilà, nous sommes donc ici à Maison Blanche. Nous sommes, nous sommes en Here, we are in a Cabernet vineyard. Take a look at the grapes. Here we have a grape that was aborted. The wines are at a small pea level. This one is more advanced. It is really more like a small pea. The family advocates the organic winemaking methods. The 32 hectares of vineyards are planted with mainly Merlot, Cabernet Franc, and a few Cabernet Sauvignon. They do not use any chemical herbicide and plant peas between the vines to enable the grapes to grow up in both competition and nutrition. We can see the soil, which is the living earth. We let the grass grow two rows out of four. Why so? We can go through with the machines this way. We let the grass grow. We do not take it out with chemicals. We go through the rows with an iron cutter, which cuts the grass. The grass will grow again, and we will come back and cut it again. It never stops. There is always something to do in the vineyard. Many wineries today are adopting modern technology in winemaking. Chateau Maison Blanche, however, insists on the most traditional way. They believe that the further away from modern technology, the nearer to the front essence are these aged formulas and techniques. Le bien qu'il fait au corps, mais également à l'esprit. Voilà, donc cette fois-ci, je vais le boire. This is a traditionally managed vineyard with old wines. We believe in old wines. Once harvested, these organic fruits immediately go into the process of fermentation. Here, oak barrels and old glass tanks are used in Chateau Maison Blanche instead of modern stainless steel tanks. No precise control of temperature and moisture all they have is but natural enclosure of the cellar and oak barrels. This is the cellar of Mason Blanche. Here we have the vats. We have no machines, no artificial concentration, no managed temperatures, and no micro bubbles. Here 
We only have grapes, nothing more. The yeast transformed the grape juice into alcohol and wine. They are naturally present in grapes. This is a natural vision. But it may look strange in a world controlled by chemical industry. And this is very simple. Only grapes. And it is only with grapes that you make wine. With a history much shorter than the chateau, the cellar was built by Nicolas' father in 1980s. Unlike other chateaux, the Despanier was not proud in selling out all of their wines at once. This tradition was started from Nicholas's grandfather with a vision to preserve the essence of wine culture in Bordeaux. Why make a cellar? Now most winemakers try to make good wine not only taste well, but also sell quickly. We believe the best Bordeaux red wine is the one that can mature and be kept for a long time. We offer clients to taste wines that are several years old. The main interest of Bordeaux wines is that the wines age in a harmonious way. We do not believe in the wine very syrupy, very strong in alcohol, or with strong aromas that do not correspond to local terroir. Here we have several thousand bottles. Not long ago, we opened a bottle of 1943, our oldest bottle. We do not do this often, as this is not like in this industry. Once you open a bottle, you cannot replace it. Next, Nicholas will taste three wines of different vintages for us. The wine is a faithful expression of the environment and the climate of the year due to its organic brewing way. We are going to taste the Maison Blanche 1999. This is a very classic Bordeaux vintage. We had a normal summer, with both heat and rain. This vintage is more than an average vintage in quantity. It is built on balance, which is different from the other two vintages. Balance is the key to this vintage. Now I open the bottle. Je vais l'ouvrir. It has no cork taste, but has a taste of red berries, mostly cherries. Mason Blanche often has a cherry taste. So, this is a balanced vintage. We had a nice summer, with song, storms and the rains. We had a choice between artificial concentration and balance. For Mason Blanche, we chose balance. Alors, 2000, euh, très de réputation. Let's try the second vintage, 2000. 2000 is a great year. It is a year of dragon. It has been talked about for months and months. This vintage is very different from the 1999 vintage. The summer of 2000 started late, but it was very strong. This vintage has lots of wood. It is not as subtle as the 1999 vintage. This vintage is much stronger. It smells more vegetal. While the 1999 vintage was more balanced, the smell is strong, a stronger intensity. I spit for professional reasons. If you drink all wines during the tasting, 
it could not finish the day. The 2000 vintage is more concentrated. So, there's the influence of the climate as well as the soil. There is difference between 1999 and 2000 before the flowering of the wines. Every year, we try to find the best possible balance, and every year it is different. Let's talk about the four elements, heat with the sun, earth, water, and air. One is the child of these four elements. Man is not the father. Man is there only to give birth. It is the earth that gives wine. With the help of the other elements, wine comes from elsewhere. Echo is not produced by man or by distillation. It is produced naturally. Now we will open the third vintage, the 2001 vintage. Again, a different story, a very particular climate. Water and fire alternate in 2001. This 2001 vintage is a Merlot vintage. In 2000, it was Cabernet. Cabernet Franc and Cabernet Sauvignon. This 2001 vintage is more Merlot and rounder, not as green as the 2000 vintage. We can taste the plum, cherry, and the red berries. All the characteristics of the Merlot. This is ripe and unctuous. There are three wines with the same basis. They are the same type of wines, but with very different characteristics. Although the year 1999 is made from the same grape varietals as the 2001 vintage, they are different in taste. 1999 is a classical vintage with all the taste balanced on the palate. 2001 has a distinguished flavor of Merlot. As for the 2000, it is based on the carbonate structure with a great complexity in the mouth. Carnet de Vandengers is a book by Nicholas, which means a book of harvest. It won the Gourmet Awards in Beijing 2007. The committee gives it a comment as follows. Nicholas Despania here gives us much more than just a book of vintage. We shared his philosophy of life. He enthusiastically defends the ethic dedicated to preserve the environment, the wine quality, and the authenticity. This truthful and direct book presents us an entirely new world of wine.